Hi friends, today we are going to discuss Advanced Directive and Nominated Representative under Mental Health Care Act of 2017. Myself, Dr. Suresh Padadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, Head of Telemedicine Center, Head of Forensic Psychiatry Unit at Nimans, Bangalore. Before I start my presentation, I would like to have a disclaimer. This presentation is for academic purpose only and also for awareness. This is not a legal opinion. This do not substitute for professional legal opinion. For legal opinion, please do contact an advocate. Conflict of interest? None. Mental Health Care Act of 2017, the President of Republic of India assented on 7th April 2017 and this act plays a very important role in provision of mental health services in our country. The preamble of this act is very very clear. This legislation was passed in the parliament to provide mental health care services and also to protect promote and fulfill the rights of persons with mental illness during the delivery of mental health services. So this has two important objectives when to provide the mental health services. Second one is to protect, promote and fulfill the rights of a person with mental illness during the provision of services. With these two objectives, this legislation was implemented. Plus, but please do remember, the heart and soul of this legislation has important three, what we call it as chambers, chambers of the heart. I would rather put it across. One is advanced directive, nominated representative and rights of a person with mental illness, which has been spelled from section 18 to 28. So these are the very important rights which have been clearly documented, drafted and passed in the parliament. Now we will take nominated representative and advanced directive. The rights of persons with mental illness. I have made a separate video which is available in my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel to watch that video. Coming to advanced directives. Advanced directives under the Mental Health Care Act is being codified from section 5 to section 13. First we will start with section 5. What does this advanced directive? Advanced directive is nothing but a will which is written by a person. But here, this will is written for his mental health care. So what does that section 5 says? Every adult shall have a right to make an advanced directives in writing, specifying the following. There are three important followings. Either he can make one or two or all of them. What does he say? He can say where the person wishes to be cared and treated for his mental illness. One. The way the person wishes not to be cared for and not to be treated for mental illness and the appointment of nominated representatives in order of precedence. And this advanced directives will be in writing and it has to be registered under Mental Health Review Board. So, my dear friends, for the first time in the history of our independent India, advanced directive for persons with mental illness was clearly spelt out. And it has to be in writing how he wished to be cared and treated when he develops mental illness, how he should, how he wished not to be cared and treated for his mental illness. That is the second point. And appointing the nominated representatives as the accordance of in order of precedence. These are the important three points which the advanced directives addresses from section 5 to 13. Now comes the applicability and the amendment. Applicability, this advanced directive becomes applicable only when person loses his capacity. That's very essential. If the person has capacity, you are not going to look into the advanced directive. He will listen to the patient and you will treat him. If he loses his capacity, then only you will look into his advanced directive. And this advanced directive is for mental health care purpose only not for any other purpose. It is not for finance. It is not for property, immobile property. Or anything else it is only for mental health care service purpose and it cannot be applied even for physical health also physical health there is a separate uh, 
case report case decision by the supreme court please do follow that for mental health care services this legislation plays very important and this advance directive becomes null and void if it is written contrary to the law of the land that means if a person says no person in India will treat him for his mental illness if he is been very dangerous or he is very violent that becomes against the mental health care act itself and it becomes null and void so anything written in contrary to the law existing law of the land then it will becomes null and void ad can be amended that advance directives can be amended by only two people one is the person himself or else mental health review board or high court or supreme court these are the people who can amend this advance directive coming to the process the process how the advance directive will be kick in first and the foremost the advance directive copy has to be provided to the medical practitioner or to the psychiatrist when they bring the patient the doctor has to assess the capacity and if the person has lost the capacity now he will follow the advance directives and he need to follow the advance directives as it is written when he is following these advance directives and if there is unforeseen consequences or side effects occurs he will not be held responsible so that is the process the process step number one the patient parties need to provide the advance directive the medical practitioner need to assess the capacity and if the capacity is not there then he will look into the advance directive and he will follow the advance directive when the advance directive is when the, during the process of following the advance directives if there is unforeseen consequences or side effects do, does occur then the medical practitioner will not be held responsible coming to the nominated representative that is been codified from section 14 to section 17 nr nr means every adult shall have a right to appoint a nominated representative that means you can say in india we have an amazing family system but various studies and this law also says majority of the time the rights of a person with mental illness are violated by the family members of course for that reason now this legislation gives power to every person to nominate anybody for his treatment purpose for mental health care service purpose so it can be order of precedence he can nominate one five six but at the same time the nr should be an adult and he should accept the responsibility as per the mental health care act and it has to be written in plain paper and registered with the mhrb no money can be costed for this doing this by the mhrb if there is no nr has been appointed and a person develops a mental illness who will be the nr of course the relatives that is basically family members that is father mother brother sister or the wife spouse they will become the nr by default or else if no family members are there caregivers caregiver may be paid non paid those will act as a nr or else the mental health review board can appoint suitable person it can be an ngo or somebody else if even that is the, not there the mhrb will appoint the director of the department of social welfare or his designated representative will become the nr to provide or to support decision making under mental health care act and the important point here is role and responsibilities of the nominated representative the nr should consider the current and past wishes the life history values cultural background and the best interest of persons with mental illness before he does any decision that means the decision cannot be just proxy decision making it has to be shared or supported decision making that means he has to provide support to person with mental illness to take a decision and at the same time he also has to seek information regarding the above why he has been admitted who is been admitted how is been admitted under what section all those information the nr can seek from the treating team at the same time nr also has been given the right to approach mental health review board if persons with mental illness rights have been violated by the mental health establishment or the mental health professional at the same time nr can also appoint an attendant to look after him in the mental health establishment and also to consent for research 
these are the important roles and responsibility nominated uh, nominated representative has to do when the person with mental illness loses his capacity please do understand i brought a concept something called as shared decision making or supported decision making in mental health care act it is supported decision making or also you can call it as shared decision making what is this shared or supported decision making at one hand if you look at that if this is a very concrete example to make you understand if you get into a love marriage and you are taking your own decision along with your partner and you go against everybody's decision it is your right to take your decision along with your partner to get married that is love marriage it's a rights based decision fine well and good on the other hand something called as arranged marriage where the bride or the bridegroom usually do not have anything to say it is the parents and the relatives who decide for the marriage that is arranged marriage nowadays there is something in between that is love come arranged marriage where the parents will put some kind of condition like the girl or the boy should be from the community he should be educated he should be from the family background so and so and both the parties agree and the parents also agree and the partner the person who is going to get married also agree that is supported decision making or what we call it a shared decision making so that's very concrete example but however now i will give one more example to understand this something called a supported decision making suppose as a you watching this video wants to buy a house a house in your locality now how will you decide which house to buy so immediately you start thinking you will start looking for help you will go and meet the real estate agent you will talk to your friends you will go to internet you will talk to your brothers and sisters you will talk to bank for the financial help which bank is better you will talk to a legal advisor for lawyer to get the documents verified and finally after two or three weeks or one month down the line you will decide to buy a house you being so intelligent educated required support support from various people around you family members relatives friends internet real estate agent lawyer advocate banking sector person all of them required to help you or to support you to take a decision to buy a house similarly persons with mental illness when he needs to be when he needs to take a decision so it is the responsibility of the nr to support him to take a decision that is called as supported decision making and next important decision is revoking the nominated representative status suppose a person with mental illness has nominated somebody and who can revoke the person himself who has nominated can revoke the nr or the person who is an nr can also say that i don't want to be the nr i have some other responsibility or because of illness he will not be able to fulfill the obligation of the under the act a family member relative or a psychiatrist can apply for revoking the nr list to the mhrb at the same time mhrb also has a power to amend the nr list and also if the nr is not acting in the best interest of a person with mental illness the nr status can be revoked and also all persons with mental illness shall have the capacity to take mental health care or treatment decision but may varying degree of support from the nominated representative is to be done if those kind of decisions are not being taken and unilateral decisions are taken not in the best interest of the patient then the nr status can be revoked and it will be revoked and the decision will be done by the mental health review board there is another also concept of called as temporary nominated representative if there is a sudden somebody has not written any advance directive or he has written an advance directive and he develops a acute psychotic episode and the nr is not available immediately temporary nr can be instated that is a person from a any ngo that is representative of an organization of a temporary period can apply to become a nr and the psychiatrist can approve it and this is very common imagine mr x is admitted to a long stay home and because of various reason he has a relapse and the nr is not easily available 
and at that time the ngo or the organizational representative can act as an nr for a temporary period till the nr is available or else if there is no nr till the mhrb appoints the nr he can become a temporary nr so at the same time with regard to advance directives and the nominated representative central mental authorities have certain roles to play the central mental authority shall regularly and periodically review how the advance directives and nominated representatives are done the process how it is stored online and how it is retrieved they can make amendments into this process at the same time they can also modify the procedure of advance directives to protect the rights of a person with mental illness if there are any clause which have been violated for the persons with mental illness cmha can immediately come in and change the procedure to summarize my dear friends mental health care act is a rights based approach and mental health care act 2017 has enabled advance directives and nominated representative in this regard or to fulfill this oblig obligation mhrb is responsible for registering maintaining online registry of advance directives and also amending these advance directives and also the list of nr at the same time central mental authority is responsible for making regulation for advance directives and nominated representatives friends if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel share this video and also watch similar videos available please do press bell icon for notification thank you very much stay safe